Uh, there we go. Well, anyway, we're uh, the recording's in progress, and uh, the uh, we're live on. Uh, let me make sure here. I always have to make sure, as you know. Uh, no, we're we're here. Come on. There we go. Okay. Okay. There we are. Anyway, by the way, let me just say that if you uh, if you want to subs uh, subscribe to my Facebook page, that would be nice. Just ask to be uh, included there. Okay, uh, let me get going here, and then I'll tell you what happened to me today. Oh, that's part of it. I'll, I'll continue here. There we go, and uh, bring that down here. And I think we're ready to go. Let me just make sure we're okay. Everybody, there? who's there? Everybody, hold on a second. There we go. We're gone. I am in bad shape today. Let me tell you why. Oh, here we go. Let me tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! It is. It's. It's an old person thing, real old person. I took a fall today, a hell of a fall. And you see here, and yeah, here, on the inside, and uh, I've got. Uh, I've got my hand is like starting to really start bruise up, and I can barely use it. I can have to grab my coffee with my other hand. You'll be fine, Alex. I know I'll be fine, but this just happened down. like this just happened like an hour ago. You know? uh -oh. where, 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 where were you? What did you do? Just coming back yeah, from the store and I stumbled on my sketchers. Okay. <laughs> Which do, I need, do I need to make a call to Big Pharma for you? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's a got them on the that when you butt dial me by accident? Uh, <laughs> when did I butt dial you by accident? I'm trying to remember. About two hours ago, I think. I think I was prior to that. <laughs> no. Yeah. Excuse me for the butt dialing, but it's Easter connecting. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm really in pain here now. Uh, because this uh this uh, cut inside is not fun. It's a little cut, Alex. It's It'll not a fun. little cut, it's a hurting cut. It's a cut. <laughs> it's a hurting cut. Here's somebody named It Tom. will heal. <laughs> You'll be fine. Yeah. Let me see. This is Candace, but who is it really? He changed it. <laughs> he changed it. Oh, there we go. It's going to be Brian. Who is it? I, I don't know who it is. No, it wouldn't, be, it wouldn't say Candace, would it? I don't know. He wants to mess with you. If it was Brian. Hello, Candace. Are you there? <laughs> uh, Candace. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. This wife's name's Candace. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm going to put a coffee over here, then I can mm, <laughs> use this hand because this hand is totally unusable. And now that's my oh, favorite. It's... That's my favorite hand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe you get a little. Well, they might have to amputate it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah right. right. I will lend you my hand if you need. It. <laughs> <laughs> is that what you mean by? Lend, is that what it means by lend a hand? Yeah, this is uh, this is actually I can screw this off and just mail it to you. Oh, I see. Okay, wait a minute. Is that a real hand? Yeah, no. <laughs> I thought we might have another. Uh, what what can we call it? Uh, dysfunctional human being. If you <laughs> didn't have a hand. Hello, everybody. How are you? Oh God. Okay. You know, you feel like such an old man. Here we go again. When you fall. <laughs> Well, you were mentioning this to me today. When you get fall in the street, all of a sudden there's some young people who come along and say, "Oh, can we help you? Can we help you up? Oh, you, your earphones over there." At one point, she said, "I think you lost a tooth, and it was actually my earphone <laughs> that had fallen out of my ear." Yeah, but you could have fallen at forty years old too. You know, exactly. Yeah. I and could so have, but I don't know if I would injure myself this much. Yeah, but at 40, they don't wait till they stop laughing before they lift you up. Well, this hand hurts because I, <laughs> whenever I start falling, I use this hand to break the fall. But apparently, I hit the pavement because of this. Yeah. Hmm. So, but, you and, know, I and, saw and, today and one of the New York Met players got T-boned by a guy who ran a red light. The player's <laughs> car flipped over five times, and he was in spring training today. Really? Okay. All right. Is he alive? Yeah, yeah, the just whole trying to... was okay. They were all seat belted. Trying to make Broke you feel the better. The window there, of the you know the driver's side window and got got them all out of the car. 
you'll totally be sore tomorrow because of you twisted and turned on the way down. And Thank you, Lynn. Yeah. Uh, who, who else do we have here? It, it says Jeffrey. Is that Jeff? Is that you, Jeff? That's me. Yeah, it's you. Hi, Jeff. Who is that? It says Jeff. Jeffrey. It's Jeffrey, our Jeffrey. Is it? Oh, he hasn't turned on his video. <laughs> well, he has problems that way. <laughs> and your audio, Jeff. Uh, your picture, too. Yeah, we can't see or hear you. Yeah. Well, anyway. Yeah, Call Pam. Yeah, call Pam, Jeffrey. Go the handle. Yeah. H Hello, Andrew. We haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. You Good too. Good to see you, Andrew. Busy as hell, but took a break today. You're busy doing what? Working. Well, working at what? <laughs> you Smart soda. You have several things you do, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I've been been fully embedded with this company, Smart Soda. We're working on their their growth. The growth of smart soda. Well, they were so yeah. smart they wouldn't have to ask you to help them. That's that's probably true. <laughs> so how smart <laughs> how smart can that soda possibly I, I, be? Actually, based on the folks I work with, extremely smart. Mm, okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah, it's a it's a great it's a great product, great company. But I'm not here to advertise. Yeah, but uh, it, smart soda. It's like one of those things that has all those uh, uh, nutrients and stuff in it, and so on and so forth. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Yeah. But I, you know, advertising out here would be unethical, so I won't do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's uh, they convert the water to make it alkaline first, so it's all alkaline water and then vitamin infused, very healthy. Now, stuff. what what is good about alkaline water? Well, your your body is is highly acidic, uh, especially in your stomach. So How dare you say that about my body? <laughs> I didn't say you were Hasidic. <laughs> you don't have the no, <laughs> but it's it's it it's in many countries where they've done the medical research, they find that people that have gastric issues, Crohn's, acid reflux, all that kind of stuff, by by converting to a more alkaline diet, mm -hmm. they get they get better. It also it sits better in your stomach. And then everything we do is vitamin infused. And we even have these cool ways of customizing the drink. You can go up to the machine and say, I want this and Turn it into an energy drink, turn it into an immunity drink, adding additional stuff to it. Oh, I see. This is a thing, yeah. a machine that does this? Well, it's it's fountain sodas. We sell the convenience stores and restaurants and offices. That oh, give, really? Okay. Yeah, to give beverages to their employees. So instead of instead of giving you a cup full of uh, dissatisfaction and unhealth, I mean, even even the sodas that we make that are, you know, that are sweet sodas, they're made with organic cane sugar instead oh. of mystery sugar. Hold on a second. This is what's yeah. his name? Jeffrey? I don't know who what's his name is. Oh no, it's gonna Brian. be Brian. That's yeah. gotta be Brian. It's gonna be Mandy. That's I got yeah, it. Brian oh, Andrew, Mandy. Gotta be Mandy. What's yeah. his name? Of course oh, it's gotta hey. be Brian. Hey, Brian. <laughs> hey Brian, you're not in your normal lair. I'm in hiding. <laughs> Witness protection program. I'm no, he's Scott actually Gino. he's actually become the president. Like he's become the president of the Ukraine. And, uh, he's hiding. You're hiding from who? No, I'm in Lodi, so I'm on my lunch break. <laughs> oh, I see. So you're in your office? No, I'm in a hotel room. Oh, you're in a hotel room. Yeah. Oh, you get a hotel room when you go down to Lodi? Wait, let us, let's yeah. make sure there's nothing moving in that bed. He's a big shot at his company. You realize that, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you want that. That's not okay. Okay, okay go, go good. <laughs> My regular room. Now, now are you gonna you. are you gonna stay there overnight? Yeah, yeah, I stay there overnight. Yeah, I usually I come Sunday nights, but I just came this morning, so I'll stay overnight tonight. Oh, okay, good. Years ago, Alex, I was on a video conference with a guy who was interviewing for a position. Yeah, he was in a hotel room traveling for business. It was we were talking about you know leaving the family behind and all this kind of stuff. And I'm looking, and the the sheets are moving on the bed. And I went, oh, what the hell? What the hell is that? He goes, oh crap, she's still here. <laughs> yeah, we didn't hire him. We well, didn't hire him. No. Why? Because he was having a good time. No, because he gave an awful interview too. But that's a whole oh, thing. I see. Yeah. Where's Jeff? That's what she said. <laughs> you assume. Well, <laughs> he's a closer of some sort. 
Mm. It, it, that, it depends. If, if you're traveling and, and that's there, you don't know if it's uh, how many, someone how he many, met or someone he rented. So. How many times in your experience doing Zoom calls has a cat's tail walked by somebody's camera? <laughs> uh, many, including yeah. one up and centered. <laughs> Oh, really? Oh, it was uh, un unappealing. <laughs> yeah, my, my cat's called Adrian. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's your I've been on China. I've been on China calls, and I'm talking, talking, talking. I'm looking down at something, and I look up, and she's been waving like for <laughs> China, they're just laughing. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. Hey, Alice, what? I got I to gotta, I gotta tell you a story. So yeah. we had an issue with our phone system. I'm on. <laughs> I'm online on the phone talking to someone from the phone company is a minor, minor thing. Oh, wow. And she's got an accent. And I was like, where, where actually are you located? She said, I'm in a small village in the Ukraine. Uh, said, what? She goes, yeah, our call service for this company is in the Ukraine. I, uh, I fled with my family and we have bad internet connection here. Uh, but I had to, our mother stayed behind because she works with children. So I'm, I'm on the phone bitching about a minor phone issue to somebody who just fled getting blown yeah. up. I felt about that tall. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Yeah. It was, you know, you, you start to get a little perspective on life in general with the little things we complain. What about. I would have probably said to her was, you think you have problems. <laughs> well, that's, how the, that's how the call kind of started until I realized who and where I was. Talking uh, to. Uh, it was, it was a very uncomfortable moment. Wow. My, 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 my huge problems didn't seem so bad. At the moment. Yeah. Yeah. I, I would imagine. Yeah. Look, yeah. You think you got problems? Look at my hand. Mm -hmm. oh, there you go. God, I can't use this thing for anything. This is my good hand. Alex will be fine tomorrow. I'm going to have to start learning with how do I sign all the papers we're supposed to sign? I'll Pen sign them mouth. for you. You'll sign them for me. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Yeah. Is Jeff, is Jeff on here? Is that no, Jeffrey? Really. You know, I got to tell you how, how, what an idiot our lawyer is. <laughs> <laughs> He, so he, sends, he loves he, this show. He sends us yeah. two, two things to sign the, the lease and then a rider to the lease. And everything's right on the on the lease. On the rider, he puts down my real name's Bennett Schwarzman, and that's what I sign everything legally as. And he knows that. And he has Alex Bennett. Mm. And I'm going, where did this come from? He never had anything said Alex Bennett, you know. Even when I write him, I don't write him as Alex Bennett. I write him as Bennett Schwarzman. So. It's more common than you think. When we had wrestlers come up all the time, uh, more than once, we had the wrestler's stage name on the plane ticket and had to pay the fees to bring it on over and stuff. So it happens more than you think. Well, I had that happen like that. to me once where I had to go back and have my ticket completely changed because they won't let you on a plane unless it's your real name. It's the name on your passport. That's you know, I mean, those those names the wrestlers use aren't their real names. <laughs> it's fake. Oh, here, here, here comes here comes what's her name, but I, I can barely use my hand now. Oh, 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 oh. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I'm gonna start playing some. Been for a long week, Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> I started already. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 sacri the, the sacrifices the man makes to bring this show to the I people. <laughs> Absolutely. Mandy, you know how hard it was for me to get you on here because my hand is broken. <laughs> What's oh, wrong? My hand, I fell off. down. I, I, took a, oh, Mandy. I took an old man plot. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, yeah. He's fallen, but he could get up. And I fell on this hand and it's hurting like hell now. Well, I've been sitting here trying to figure out why I don't have Wi-Fi on my phone. And my coworker was trying to help me. I said, "Never mind, just forget it. I'll just use my my data." But I don't know why my wife in the office is working. But anyway, oh well, that's why it took me so long because I was trying to figure that out. Yeah. But did, where did you fall? Well, I, Maybe I, no more questions. On the ground. About it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I only joined at ten after, so you must not have talked about it at all. This is the kind of sympathy I get from my wife. <laughs> I feel bad. You know, I took Message the, me later and tell me. Well, Give me the story. It, later. Yeah, I well, I would, I would. Well, I think I can type. Alex. I think I can type. I guess I just can't pick a, do a mouse. That's my problem. What about you? What about your private time, Alex? My private <laughs> we time? That's that. that's that's shot. But then again, it was shot a months ago, <laughs> years ago. You know, they went down there and you know. 
did some work on me and well, yeah, you know, ask Marjorie. <laughs> anyway, um, no, I come on, Marjorie. What? Give me a little sympathy when you fell and you bro broke. Did I not face, help I was there for the you. Elevator. Did I not take all the groceries and put them away? Did I not help you with your wounds? You got Did I not make sure your coffee? She's going to bring up the whole car thing again, I Alex. Why did you yeah, go that way? Know. You should not go that way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about it? sports or something. Yes. <laughs> you, subject. you got me coffee, but you didn't bring me any cream in it. So what good was that? Oh, I had to Change the that. subject, Alex. Change the subject. Change the subject fast. You're going to lose. The whole car thing when you didn't pick her up from the hospital is coming up. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Not that we remember it, but now who is who is SJ Lapointe, and why is he not connecting to his audio? That's got to be a phony, right? Because he's peeper. Huh? Wait a this minute. Well, there there is. Uh, let's see here. Oh, we no, we didn't lose him. We lost somebody else. Who do we lose? Jeff, no, Jeff's still here. No, oh, Jeff. Jeff. Still here. no, still here. Oh, here. well, let me get rid of this guy here. Hold on a second, I gotta do this. Rick, did you, Rick, did you have the other eye done already? Next Monday, oh, next Monday. I was gonna say, well, you look good, yeah, it's healing up nice, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Let me see here. Let me how, how you, how's your vision going? Good, I'll tell you, it's actually very good, as I said to Ben on Saturday. I was not able to read the time on the cable box. Now I can read it. Oh, wow. There you That's go. Awesome. And after the second eye, it'll be a thousand times better. Yeah. But I drove on, what, what was it, Friday? I went out to Costco because this eye was done for distance and driving. It was fine. Mm -hmm. Except for the idiots driving around to me as I was <laughs> complaining. Yeah. Wow. Good. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's a simple operation. It's really simple. Oh, I still have no idea what they were even doing. Hmm. You know, okay, we just did the laser. Okay, now we put the lens in. Okay, you can go sit in the waiting room. To your My guy didn't even tell me that. He just did it and put, said, get out of here now. <laughs> that's basically it. Yeah, that's basically it. it. It was like, it was like uh, cataracts or us. And they had, yeah. they had uh, like 20 people there that day all in chairs getting ready for it and then next 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 took them each yeah. one of 10 minutes yeah. you know yes yeah. 20 most minutes tops the most and popular most surgery drops in my eyes you say it's the most popular surgery steve it is that's what i heard when i did my i did both of mine and they said it was the most popular surgery in the country yeah there were lines of people i didn't understand how they how do they cut into your eye, lens of your eye without you they take, awake. The lens, they take out the lens and put a new lens in right but you're awake while they're doing this and you don't they feel like well awake. they numbed it with yeah. drops and yeah. you know a local yeah. anesthetic i guess no they you put know. some in my, case, in my case they put just put in the drops yeah and then when they the use knowledge. yeah when they use you they, they, you won't don't feel a thing your eyeball is dead basically hey, you feel nothing yeah. I felt absolutely nothing. They're like, okay. I think we've established that you feel nothing. absolutely nothing. <laughs> not yeah. compared to Alex, who just had an accident. Will you <laughs> shut <laughs> up? It's not like if you hurt your, like you hurt your hand or anything. Well, Alex, about feeling absolutely it. No more, no more. You didn't pick me up from the hospital. You blown that one because you're not sympathetic you, to you this. You want to bet? <laughs> I, I have an Alex. Owl, I have an owie. Alex, you fell. I, I didn't hear. <laughs> you didn't hear? Well, this no, just I missed me. Oh, oh, really? Friend. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you feel okay. Better. I hope you people all fall down, and I'm not going to be able to hear to say, "Oh, there, there, dear boy." <laughs> hey, I've fallen in the past, and I pick myself up, and and you, you move know. on like everyone else. Uh, years ago, I took a real heavy fall, which took me three months for it to, to heal up. It was on my the scrape on my knee. And it was because the uh, I was going to sue the Village Voice over this. The Village Voice had unwrapped their papers or something. And, you know, the ties they put around the paper bundle. Mm -hmm. Well, it was out there and I walked over it and then it caught in my foot and it tripped me. Oh. Hey, Alex, yeah, that but was, they would blame that was the deliverer, delivery company. 
So you, you can't blame do me. The voice. Blame you. The, yeah, I, I worked for many years selling that material that went around the newspaper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was I traveled the world, sold it in 75 different countries. Plastic strapping. Oh, wow. That was my career for many years. Did you have to compete with some other companies? Oh, yeah. Doing yeah it? There's others, and, and there's others would, who make it. And what was your 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 take on it? I mean, if you were going to sell it to me, how would you sell me these wraps for newspaper bundles? Because ours was so precise that it would never fail in the equipment. It was made from recycled from our own recycling facility. Yeah, and but it, would it ta- would it trip radio DJs who walk by? Yeah, that was one of that was one of the features four, and benefits. Four looking while they were walking. Yeah. Yeah, it was it was it was low cost, precision, no downtime, and trips radio guys. That was how we sold it. What else are you going to sell us today, Andrew? We've got the soda. We've got the newspaper. Oh, yeah. No, that was I worked. That was when I when I traveled the world. I was in a, a hundred and twenty something countries in my career, and about ninety of them were selling plastic strapping. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Wow. So, Alex, you should, be, you should be suing Andrew. Yeah, sue me. No, I'm thinking about getting a new Get job. Get in line. Get in line. <laughs> I've been looking for a job because, you know, Marjorie is uh, going to semi retirement. Yeah. So, I, who's, I can't. Who's going to no, hire a guy umpires. with one hand? No, hey, I, we need umpires. I, I have no reason <laughs> to feel like a pimp any longer. Um, <laughs> But she's and so we need money coming in. And so I'm, I'm looking for ways for me to make a living. And so I thought I would throw it out as I did to some people the other night on the other show. Uh, do you have any suggestions of what I at 82 years of age could do to earn a living? You can be a greeter at Walmart. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mandy yeah. has a suggestion. Well, it's something similar to what Marjorie just said. And this is my life, my life goal. I want to be the person that marks the receipt as you're leaving oh, Costco. Awesome. <laughs> I'm so tired of using my brain right now. I just want to do that. And then, but you have to draw a little face if it's a kid that gives it to you. So Adrian always gives it to them, and they draw a little girl with one hand. Uh, do on they the really? Is that part yeah. of the part of the service? Part of the service. Yeah. They always try to tell you we're, we're, the reason we're checking is we want to make sure you have all your stuff. But while they're, well, they're checking is to make sure you didn't steal anything. <laughs> Why don't they just say, we don't trust you and we're checking to see and make sure you didn't steal anything? They're actually checking yeah. to see that the employee didn't screw up. Mm-hmm. Or the they employee do. forgot to ring up something. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, they did one day on my, uh, on my, uh, my, uh, uh, what do you call it? My surround sound, uh, uh sub, you know, the speaker goes under the TV set, whatever they call it. There were two versions of it and they charged, I got the most expensive one and they charged me for the most inexpensive one. So see you later. I'm out of here. Yeah. 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 You know, um, Alex, for the job thing. By the way, I couldn't do that a... check. I couldn't do that check thing right now because my hand hurts when I hold it. Oh, oh, wow. When did that start? <laughs> <laughs> when Mel visited over the weekend. <laughs> well, talk, we're not going to talk about that here. Alex, is there not voiceover work that you could easily just fall yeah. into very, very easily? Uh, I'm not a really voiceover guy. I haven't got that great a voice. Yes, you do. You know, wow. uh, but um, uh, I, um, I, the voiceover business is so insular that it's very hard to get work. Plus, a lot of the voiceover work isn't even done in New York anymore. It's done in like Omaha and wherever, where they don't have to pay union wages. It's done Unless in everybody's they build a home, home studio in their yeah. garage, basement, yeah. wherever. Exactly. exactly. So, you know. Uh, I mean, I would have to get a couple of jobs in order to be able to kind of get into that. And it's it's not easy. It's really not easy. What, what no, in New York, it's like the same 10 guys. You know, right. they, yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I asked once uh, somebody I know at, at uh, Sirius XM who does this kind of work. Uh, and um, I said, I want, I'd like to get into the voiceover thing. And how do I do that? And he said, there's no work. You know, it's really, it's really, there's less and less work because they're going to smaller markets to get voices to do it because they can get them cheaper. So, you know, it's, it's, it's not a business. It's really there. And then what happens is they always give it to some actor, you know, 
So, I mean, if, if I walk in and I want to do it, I got a great voice and I'm, I do a perfect read. And then here comes, uh, oh, I don't know. Uh, Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington, Washington. They'll use him. Why? Because it's a voice everybody recognizes, but they don't know quite where from. Or James Earl Jones. James Earl Jones. Well, he, I, he doesn't do that much anymore, I don't think. No, no. Yeah. Because he's also 90 or so, you know. Yeah. 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 So getting that big CNN money. <laughs> he this is that. CNN. I'm sure he gets it every time they renew, you know. I thought they weren't paying him for years. They were just using that voice. Well, it could be. It could be he just signed it away at the, in the very beginning, thinking, eh, they're only going to use it for a couple of weeks. I'll give him a call. I'll find out. <laughs> I think he's going to be in that uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi show that comes out in May. Sounds like he's going to be back for his Darth Vader. For his voice? Yeah. Oh, really? Oh. That'll be fun. I guess, you know. Uh, what was it we were watching that wasn't? Uh, it, what, we were watching anything that's fun, Marjorie? We were watching that, uh, that thing about the woman who... Who was that British show you said you didn't like? Oh, 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 that was horrible. They made a TV series, five, six episodes, was it? Of the yeah. Ipress file. Oh, and it's really bad. It's really bad. So why'd you stick through the six episodes, Alex? Well, you know, those those binge things, you got to finish them. Yeah, I got to say, Alex, I didn't think I was going to agree with you on this one, but we watched Licorice Pizza. Yeah. Oh, not good. Well, what's, what's, that that movie? what's it about? I, you know, I thought for the first 20 minutes, I thought it was going to be good because I thought the two of them were good. I thought she was very likable, but it went so off the rails with, you know, the Sean Penn and the, the Bradley Cooper and all the crazy stuff that it just got boring. And I thought it, looked, it felt like it was four hours long. For me well, when Penn. somebody asked me, what's it about? I said, uh, well, it's about a waterbed salesman. It's, yeah. about a, it's about a relationship between a 15 year old boy and a 25 year old girl. Right. Um, but that's about it. It wasn't very interesting. It wasn't very interesting. Well, everybody loves that picture. I know. You yeah, know. but then the power of the dog won the BAFTA last night. You explained right. that one. Oh, was it with the BAFTAs last night? Yeah. I missed them. What? Who, oh, we missed who, them, Alex. Who, 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 we'll go over to you know where and you can find it. Well, yeah, but I can't because of my hand. Oh. <laughs> Marjorie can help you. Uh, well, my question is, uh, what? who won for Best Actor? Uh, you know, I don't even remember. Really? I didn't Pretty... watch it. I just saw the list. Oh. It was uh, Len LaFrisco, I heard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Len LaFrisco. Yeah. Win... I know the girl from West Side Story <laughs> won for Best Supporting Actress. Uh, she's very good. I do have my Oscars, so. <laughs> I have one in my fish tank. <laughs> Will Smith won for Best Actor? Does that sound right? No, yeah. I honestly no idea. I, I think he should have. I, that was the best yeah. performance I saw last. I agree. You know. Um, and yeah, the best performance playing a real life human being. Yeah. Well, <laughs> he did a good a movie. Yeah. The movie on Hulu you don't want to watch called Fresh, unless you're oh. into cannibals. Oh well, thank you for oh, calling no. me that. Do not waste your time. That's fresh. I got, I got 15 minutes into it and went, uh, no. Well, what was this? Uh, oh, yeah. The, the show we're watching is Dropout. That Elizabeth Holmes thing about the oh, woman yeah. who started uh, that company. And the yeah, I, I want to see that. It's, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I interviewed there and I met her. Her and Sonny, the guy that she said uh, sexually abused her. No kidding. Yeah. But a couple of my engineers went over there. Yeah. And then actually that building is the same building that I had my first job at Hill Packard building uh, drug analyzers. Uh, is, that, is that in Palo Alto? Yeah, now it's all housing. All that that HP area, it's, they're all yeah. housing. I used to work, and I used then there was work, Facebook also. I used hmm. to work at Syntax, which was right back in there a long time. Uh, yeah, on California, all the way up the hill. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I met her. She's a little whacked, and Sunny was weird too. Yeah, they they were trying to release that product. That Sunny, the Indian guy. Yeah. yeah. So they were supposed to, that was my last set of interviews. They were supposed to release that like six <clears> months from when I interviewed. And they basically wanted you to live there. They want you to come in early. They would feed you. They would feed you dinner. And then you can go home 8 or 9 p.m., get sleep, and come back every day, seven days a week. Yeah. 
And they're very secretive. They're very, yeah, it was so crazy. Yeah. Well, because they didn't have anything. Yeah. yeah. They didn't want you, they, they walked you into this front office. They didn't even, you know, usually you want to give people a tour and say, here's what we're building. You know, we, we're looking for this and this. And they were like, it's really bizarre. Wow. Wow. And she's still convicted, but she, is she in jail now? I think yeah. she's waiting to be sentenced. Yeah. She's waiting to be sentenced. Yeah. Wow. Well, then it can't end in any particular way, can it? Only found guilty, and that was it. Right. Well, Art. it's like that Jesse Smollett guy. The brother is now claiming they put him in a mental ward. Oh, they've got to let him out. You know, come on. You were convicted. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. They can put you anywhere they want to put you. Yeah. He only got, what, five months? Six months. Six yeah. months. That's it? Yeah. 150 days. Yeah, people expect that he would get nothing. So it's you know, it's better than nothing. In 150 and days, it'll be 30 years days. years of supervised right. home release yeah. or whatever. Yeah. I thought he would just get community service, so I'm glad he's doing some time. What a pain in the ass. That caused everybody. But he's already complaining. You know, if I'm found dead, I didn't commit suicide. They murdered me. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, <laughs> maybe right. it could happen. I'm just amazed. Did they make him pay for the police or the extra time the police. Did? I think I so. Think I think there was a payment. Uh, oh, there's, payment. there's like a several hundred thousand dollar fine. Yeah, they, they said it cost the, the police department like two million dollars for the investigations they wow. did. Wow. Does that include the donuts? <laughs> <laughs> just the filling. Just the filling. I see. Well, I just, uh, you know, uh, so we watched that. That that that's pretty good. But you know, we also we were really surprised how much we like Pam and Tommy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, because it's not about them as much as it's about the stealing of the tape and how it got out into the public, and then how their marriage was affected by it. You mean yeah. when she and he released it? No, they yeah. didn't. They really, they, according to this, they didn't. But eventually they signed off to a guy to give him the rights to it. And he'd give them some money because if they didn't, it would still get out there. And at least this way, they had some control over it. Yeah, right. Sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Have some faith in people. No. I'm asking you to have faith in Pam and Tommy. That's kind of difficult. But, you know. Um, you know, I, I think that they were. I, and I Kim think, Kardashian didn't release her tape. Oh, that's a different story. Ago, that's I mean, a different story. I mean, that's, these guys, wait, these, these people are huge stars. They didn't need that tape out there to help their careers. You see, once the Pam and Tommy thing happened. What, is, what did Pam Anderson do other than Baywatch? Nothing, but that's probably enough. And the posters and. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. She's from my neck of the woods. She, was the lines she, did, she did barbed wire. Come yeah. on. She's uh, doing slow she's motion doing in her Bailey's. A cultural classic. Week, what? You know. What? She's doing Broadway next week. Yes, yeah, she is. Is she really? She's playing Chicago, Roxy Park. The show that you could star in, because they'll, they'll take it. No offense to you. They'll take anyone. <laughs> what, what, what show? Roxy, Chicago. Chicago. Oh, Chicago. Uh, she's going to do. Really wait a minute. Hold on. She's going to do. How low has Chicago become now on the musical scale? <laughs> And how long has it run? Forever. Forever. 20 years. Wait, Mandy's trying to say something. Yes, man. Uh, I was just going to say I watched it too, and my comment was that I feel like I, I did actually feel sorry for her. Yeah. You're, you're breaking up a little bit. I think it's because you're on your, what do you call it? Yeah. See, now you're frozen. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, keep talking. Just keep talking. Well, I was just saying that she, um, and it didn't really, the tape itself didn't show her in the best light. Mm. <laughs> you know, like yeah. she was Oh, they forgot to bring in the professional cinematographer. <laughs> right. I'm just saying that it wasn't meant for everybody to see. In other words, I don't, definitely don't think they planned on anybody seeing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's but, true. I liked when everybody was watching it. Oh, they kept saying, Wow, look at the size of his penis. And <laughs> like, hey, I, I was going, you're not paying attention. Look at the size of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the before and after on that was pretty amazing. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. It elevated him to like, 
it made him, you know, people were like, Ooh, look at him. But it made, then it wasn't so great on her, you know, like yeah. she didn't. Well, it, it, it kind of, career. it was kind of trying to point up that the guy in the situation, Tommy wasn't vilified particularly, but she was called a slut and she was slut shamed and everything else. Um, and and, and that, me, it hurts me too, but I'm like, no, it doesn't. No, it wasn't hurting him. No, it wasn't hurting him. Yeah. You know, um, uh, guys were high-fiving him in bars, you know. I mean, maybe personally, maybe he didn't like it personally, but as far as like his career, it didn't yeah. hurt his career. Yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was, it was. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a greeter at Costco now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's more than I can become because I can't take a pen and check the thing. Oh, Jesus. No, but you. <laughs> Stand at the door and say hello. No, they well, I could do the hello and click the with the other hand. The one where you show your card as you walk in the door. Yeah, okay, yeah. click. Yeah, yeah. And I can use this hand to click with, and the other one I can like pretend like Let I'm. Let it drop. Huh? Let your arm just drop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, it, it really does hurt. I can't use Alex. Oh, oh uh -huh. Shecky, thank you for the sympathy. <laughs> Come on. I had eye surgery last week. Oh, oh. poor guy. <laughs> this hurts more than the eye surgery hurt. Granted. Granted. Yeah. So anyway, we, we had the, the guy who used to be in this apartment came by the other day and started going through the entire apartment with Marjorie saying, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine, that's mine. Uh -huh. Then they would deal as to how much it was worth for us to keep it. And it was it was kind of like uh, Pawn Stars going on in this house. Oh, well, I'll give you the uh, I'll give you the uh, uh, the the what do you call it? the uh, how much how much was the ceramic Dalmatian? Yeah, how much was the ceramic <laughs> Dalmatian exactly? How, about, how much is the glass in the wooden case? The, the glass in the wooden case. Remember, you said there was glass somewhere that he couldn't take. Oh. Framing, but he wanted the glass. Really? Well, I, I don't know what that was. I don't think. So. I don't know. You tell me that Saturday. No, I don't think so. Uh, we have, you know, uh, you can't see it here, but we have an entire mirrored wall here, which was his mother's mirror. But he can't take it because part of the deal was that he couldn't take anything that was attached to the wall, mm. and uh, so that's attached to the wall, uh, and. Uh, but um, it was, you know, it, 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 we were making deals on everything. And finally, we made a deal on the, uh, on the, we have two fans, ceiling fans in the kitchen. And he wanted to get a hundred bucks a piece for him. Marjorie said, sure. Well, I looked at it yesterday and I thought, wait a minute. He can't take anything that's attached to a wall. Right. And, the and ceiling's a wall. ceiling fans are attached to a wall. Sure. So uh, there's there's two hundred bucks. We two hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah. I adjusted it and sent it to him. It's amazing. It was the most expensive thing there. You know. How much and did he get out of you? Want, he wanted the brand new oven because he bought that oven, even though it's a brand new Wi-Fi <laughs> oven. He didn't know it was a new oven. And I'm thinking, how new an oven do you think you bought in 2018? Yeah. You know. It wasn't 18. It was 2003, Alex. Oh, 2003, 2003, excuse me. You know, we had an oven that was that old. How many have an oven that's 18 years old here? Uh, I think I do. You do? Okay. I'm not sure. Could be. Yeah, could be. Could be. Oh. Anyway, how many have a hand that's broken? I think 2003 <laughs> was a good year for ovens. <laughs> it was a good year for ovens? Oh, now yeah. Mandy is laughing because of my hand. <laughs> do you think it's broken? I, I don't because, know. Did, because of the you, humor you're injecting about it. Did sarcastic. you hurt it? Did you hurt your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you on ah, mute, Alex. Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> hurt me, did you? I, I felt that all the way over here. Huh? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, you're talking about the Pam and Tommy show. How about the Kanye doc? Anybody watch that? Why? No. Who's Kanye? Why? Why would we? Yeah. What's it called? Why watch this? Uh, it's a three-part thing on, I think it's called Gius. 
it's a three part thing on Netflix. And it's, it's pretty astounding, actually, the footage that they have. Um, well, and I, they I don't know. I found it, it, I found like it compelling. The last 25 years or something. Yeah. Yeah. It's literally as he got famous, like before he got famous uh, as a rapper and all of it's documented. Some of the moments, there's actually a moment where he's actually watching Ray J on the TV talk about something and it was it was around that sex tape thing and way 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 before he met kim ever it's it's quite quite amazing that they have this footage and what's he saying about it he didn't say very much about it it just it was just a a quick passing glance really that part of it but it's just amazing that you have his reaction to seeing that well, see i um, will i will argue that that tape was released that because after pam and tommy several people felt not a bad move. You know, it puts you on the map and you can say, I didn't do it. And I feel so bad that everybody's taking advantage of me and so on and so forth. And, and, and play, you know, the, Oh, sad person. Uh, I, I don't understand it. I really don't. Um, I, but I think that they, I think that was, that was released by them, but you know, why not? What, what, what you remember before that wasn't it? The, her her girlfriend who had the problem. Uh, Paris Hilton didn't. Wasn't there a Paris Hilton tape too? Yeah, I thought there. they released that one though. I thought that was a wasn't that a wasn't that a calculated move? I well, think she released it or her people or whatever. I think. Yeah. Well, you know, they wound up all of them wound up on Vivid Video, which is a uh, high end porn outfit. Okay, and uh, it looks to me as though those things were, um, uh, there was a lot of money that changed hands for those things, you know, and uh, whatever, you know, I know this is like, again, you explained to me what it, a social influencer is. A uh, social influence. Well, that's not, that's another part of this. No, but it's the same kind of thing. I'm a social influencer. Here's my porn tape. <laughs> Am I a social influencer? By any chance? No. No. Okay. No. <laughs> just, just want to make sure, you know. Uh, but I, I was just wondering if I was an influencer. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> just one last thing on the Kanye doc. I do recommend it. It's for one thing. It, it's interesting how, um, as he got famous, his mental illness was also clearly um, affected by it it uh you know he seemed to be pretty level-headed and the documentarian who was his best friend growing up um you know talks about once you get to part three where kanye is already blown up and he's become kanye um he never ever had to film anything or he never had to put the camera down ever uh before kanye got famous he never there were never doesn't seem to be any incidences or anything like that but after he got famous um, it's interesting how it inflamed the mental health issue. It's 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 pretty fascinating if you if you if you followed that guy at all. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't care less. Yeah, I couldn't you know. care less either. I just I, you know. I, I don't care. I don't care anything about Kanye, and I don't understand how he's as wealthy as he is. I mean, how did he make his money? Well, this doc well, talks a lot about of records. He sold a lot of records. He yeah. also has a clothesline. Mm. Yeah, he's so do, in, he's so do a lot I of between here track. and the building next to me, and we put our clothes on. <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh, he's an entrepreneur that that does not stop working, and it's uh, it's funny. Even the beats that he makes for other rappers, the producing side of things. I mean, the guy's work ethic is is incredible. By the way, uh, Scott, Texas, did they execute that woman, that mother? Not yet. In April, I believe it is. Really? Yeah. There's this mother who's being, I don't want to get, we're not getting political with this. I'm just talking about the story. This mother who was accused of killing her daughter who fell downstairs or something like that. Yes. And and they charged her with murder and gave her the death penalty. Well, she confessed, they say, but they, they basically berated her until she said, oh, I did spank my child once. Oh, an abuser you killed that kid wow kind of a thing yeah and they're they're asking the governor to you know to oh. give her clemency but that governor wouldn't give a clemency to a cat uh, or a he, he turned on the switch yeah 
Yeah. So with Florida's governor. Yeah. Charlie's in the same state. What do you think about it, Charlie? She's toast. <laughs> She's toast. <Barely. laughs> I mean, she is. I mean, they, they have no heart here in the Texas state legislature. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they don't go for the claim that there was a coerced confession, for instance. No, nope, they don't give a crap about that. Wait a minute. Here comes somebody. I can't even do this. Damn it. I admit. Okay, hold on a second. I have to use my other hand. There we go. There's Seraphin E. Castillo. And I think that's somebody that we know. I think that's somebody that we know. Hello, uh, Seraphin. Can you turn on your picture, Seraphin? If you don't, if you don't, I'm gonna I'm gonna remove you. When I remove you, you it's gonna follow you for the rest of your life. It's a mark on your permanent record. Yeah, I mentioned that to Marjorie last night. Did you ever have it and tell you that that if you do something, it was going to wind up on your permanent record, which would follow you the rest of your life? Oh, the rest of your life. You know, it's true. Yeah, and uh, let me see here. Let me put this person in the uh, uh, put in the waiting room. Ah, I can't my my hand. I can't. Do oh my god. Oh, you know, I just wait till the next time you need sympathy, Missy. <laughs> I'm dying. I've got cancer. Well, don't uh, don't uh, don't make a big deal out of it, Alex. I mean, so you got cancer. Big deal. Live with it. What? That's Marjorie. But every time she's got a back pain or she's got to go do, I I'm sympathetic. First of all, but I you won't pick her up at the hospital. I absolutely will pick her up. I absolutely will pick her up at the hospital because I don't want to hear about it for the rest of my life. Well, you didn't the last time. <laughs> no, wait a minute. The last time I did pick you up from the hospital. It was no, the time. Be- my spine, sir, it was the time before that. The big time. The yeah. big surgery. Oh, I see. The big surgery. Which big surgery? You've had a lot of big surgeries. You've had the knee surgery. You've had the back spine, surgery. Spine is pretty you've, big. You've had spine the. Pretty big. You've had the the charisma bypass. <laughs> <laughs> this just turns me off of ever getting remarried just saying <laughs> <laughs> this is I, would have, I thought would have thought marriage would have turned you off from ever getting just, remarried in that marriage i was basically ignored so maybe i would like a marriage where we're just like looking <laughs> at each other mandy it's all the time well wait a minute mandy are you are you still looking <laughs> i mean I'm not really actively looking. <laughs> okay. All right. You know. I give up. <laughs> but if, if love came along and bit you in the ass, you'd probably do it, right? Sure. Yeah. 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 Never say never again for something like that. That's- you know. Yeah. Like, Some I people said, like I- it when that bites them in the ass. I mean, um, <laughs> had an analogy for a relationship. Well, maybe it's not. I don't know. I said I was never going to get married again. Look what happened to me. <laughs> She came yeah. and that, was, the, that, that was after came the first marriage. <laughs> Four marriages later, you know. Did you hear me? No. Uh, what happened to Marjorie? <laughs> That's what you meant. Yeah. 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 I remember you used to say that the three three marriages, right? You get you get married for was it lust at the beginning? The first one's lust, then for love, and then companionship or something like that. Yeah. Basically, yeah. yeah. I mean, as you get older, yeah. yeah. Um, Lust, love, and then companionship. Yeah. Well, my first four. marriage. What? You have four. I don't <laughs> think I ever married for lust, though. I really don't. That's a problem. I should have. How about money? <laughs> I never met anybody that wealthy, you know? I True. I never went out with wealthy women. Uh, they never. Well, uh, didn't number three have some money? Her father was wealthy, I would seem to remember. Who was that? Susan, her father. Oh, no, he wasn't wealthy. Oh, I thought he was. No, oh. no. They had an apartment. On the, here's what they had. They had an apartment on the Lower East Side, which at that time was like in Alphabet City. And you know what it was like back in the day, like in the 60s, okay? Uh, and it was just it was just horrible. I mean, you, you, you're playing with your life, even living there. But what happened was, they decided they would get themselves a new place, but they would give us that apartment, which, you know, 
today would be worth a fortune. And we said, nah, <laughs> we don't want it, <laughs> you know, because uh, to live down there would be a death sentence in many ways. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the apartment Bertie gets ends up with. <laughs> well, I think he's still there. I think he is. Yeah. yeah, I still see him in the neighborhood, so I assume he's still, you still there. Still see him in the neighborhood, yeah. Yeah, well, did you, you people know this story? Remember Bernie well, Getz, subway shooter? Yeah. Subway yeah. Delante. Yeah. How many here haven't heard the story? Oh, oh, well, give me a call, Mike. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> <laughs> it was the day. It was the day that I threw all possibility of coincidence out the window. You know, that you get one major coincidence in your life, and that was the one that was handed to me. Folks, uh, I think we're going to hear it. And no, and I figured that after that, I was never going to win the publisher's clearing house, clearing house sweepstakes. Oh, the thing I was going to say is how many of you, when you were going to school, were told if you're bad and you do that, that's going to wind up on your record, which is going to follow you for the rest of your life. How many had that. somebody tell you? I heard that. Yeah. I heard that, right? You yeah. didn't hear that, Scott? Nope. Oh, you were in Texas where they don't have education. Don't okay. <laughs> I, uh, uh, and I, I asked Marjorie, I said, did it ever hurt you for the rest of your life? And she went, no, never hurt me. You know, so what was supposed to follow you? They put, put a little thing on your record. On your permanent record. On your permanent, your permanent record. record. Yeah. What employer is looking at your elementary school record? I, I never found anywhere in America a thing called the permanent record that you could go like to City Hall and get your permanent record. <laughs> I think it only followed you internally in that institution. Yeah. My mother used to say it. Uh, really? Yes. Uh, you wow. watch out. Hmm. I mean, we had when I was teaching, we had shit on kids' records that you know. So if a kid got caught plagiar plagiarizing or something, you look at their record and see that they were caught twice before mm. years ago. Then you you know they're, they're starting in bigger trouble. So yeah, there's a record within the institution, but it doesn't follow you once you graduate from school. They they tried to make us think that the colleges would get a hold of it and not let yeah. you. Yeah. Well, yeah. That's always, that's what you're afraid of. That's what that's the leverage you have, right? I was afraid that at some college. at some point I I would go to like you know, a job, a new job and be audition, auditioning for it. You know, in my case, we will audition for it. And then them saying, hold on just a moment. And then they came back and said, we looked at your permanent record and we see you missed study hall. So we can't hire you. you know. It's called Facebook now. It's, yeah. 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 That's your permanent record now, right? Yeah. Social media. Yeah. yeah. Or, or, or Twitter. You say yeah. something on Twitter, it comes back to haunt you 20 years later. Yeah. Yep. You know? So. Oh boy. Oh, well. oh, my hand hurts. Can I tell anybody about that? <laughs> what happened? Getting, We're getting not worse. Listening. Getting worse. Look at that. Dude, what happened to you? How did you hurt your hand? <laughs> <laughs> I'm signing off. No, you're not. <laughs> I took an old man plots. What can I say? Remember when you were video? Remember when you were recording on your phone and you fell? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Central yeah. Park. <laughs> On the stairs? No, no, no. Behind Times Square. Times Square, yeah. You went off the curb or oh, something, you right? Thing. We were crossing the street. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, just, I just checked the newswire. There's nothing about your hand. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. You, know, you know what happens, though, is that uh, you do something like this and you fall down and you feel so embarrassed because everybody comes yeah. rushing up. Because if I was 20 years old, they would, nobody would come over to help me, yeah. <laughs> you know? But I'm an old man. Oh, let me help you up, old man. Now, can you give me a break? I'll get up on my own. I did. This time I got up on my own. But Yeah, I used to watch safety videos from my my the labs. And because if something happens, you have to go back and review it for safety for, for reporting it. And the guy, people would fall on the floor. And you would see them. And they would sit up from their table. And the back of their knees, they would sort of kick out the chair that's a, you know, on wheels. And they would kick out the chair, and then you'd see him standing, and then they're going to go sit down. And I'm like, no, no, even though I'm watching the video, I know what happened. And they fall right on the floor. It's the so good bad. thing, the good and thing, they're embarrassed about, more than anything. The good yeah. thing about this watch is uh -oh. that every time I've ever done something abrupt, it says, Did you fall? 
And then I have to say, no, don't call 911. I didn't fall. Do you think it went off this time? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. No. And it should have. Yeah. Well, maybe you didn't fall. What it does oh. is if That's you don't crazy. stop it in like 30 seconds, we'll call 911 yeah. for you. But uh, uh, I didn't get I didn't get the message. Nothing. Oh, shut up, Mickey. Anyway, you hear my Mickey? Yeah. It's four fifty four. So um, um, uh, let me see here. Who hasn't talked today much? Uh, Scott Boddicker, you've been very quiet. Oh, I, talk. Go to somebody oh, else. Oh, I asked you. Yeah. About the, about the, about well, Edward yeah. hasn't said a word as you. No, I offered oh. to lend him in my hand. Remember, I was going to mail it to him, but he didn't want it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Len LaFrisco. Yeah, you ain't said much. Yeah. It's uh, quiet over here, you know? Am I on route? Yeah, no, I'm good. It's quiet over here. Weather's nice, getting to be springtime. I it's can't a... find it. I'm looking for a job, can't really find anything either, Alex. So let's go into business together. And, yeah. uh, you know, what I'm looking for is to do something on the internet on, on YouTube that will get me a couple of hundred thousand views. Mm. You can be a webcam girl. I, Sex, sex tape. I, always, I always like your suggestions, Andrew. <laughs> There's got to be someone out there. You're, you're, a, great motiv- a, you're a great motivator. No, you but- got to release the sex tape. <laughs> oh, no, that is- <laughs> My sex tape? Yeah. People would pay not to watch it. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> if, you, if you don't pay me, I'm putting this out there. I, I wonder if on YouTube you can get so many non views, you know? I mean, uh, people who who saw what it was and didn't want it. Yes. <laughs> like this show. Yeah. Like my podcast. <laughs> Jackie, we could we could do a bunch of videos on like uh, things you didn't know about Betty Davis, you know, and then those things get at least a hundred thousand views. What about things you can only do with your left hand. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll start a new uh, video call. I broke my hand. See how many that gets. What hurts now? Dot com. Right. I'm going to start a go fund me for your right hand for the cure. Well, quick. What? Are, where, what are some things, Jackie? We didn't know about Betty Davis. Everybody's going. Who's Betty Davis? What, Betty Davis. Well, she grew up in Massachusetts. Uh-huh. She should have won an Oscar for Human Bondage, but they gave it to her for Dangerous, a piece of crap movie. Yeah. Okay. And she had Betty Davis eyes. <laughs> she was a nice woman, difficult, but you know, I met her a couple of times. Nice woman. Oh, okay. Well, that that that'll get us three views. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta be something salacious. Oh, oh, the only thing all of them say is the life and sad death of so and so. <laughs> they go to it. It isn't that sad a death. He They're died. They're 98 years old. They passed away. Oh, that's <laughs> Yeah, that's so sad. sad. Yeah. 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 yeah when well, Marsha Hunt, who's 104, dies, the sad death of Marsha Hunt, she's 104. Yeah. Well, wait a minute. Who's the <laughs> oldest actor now? Do you know? Probably Marsha Hunt. Is Marsha Hunt still alive? Yeah. She's 104. Oh, geez. Whoa. Turned 104 about two weeks ago. Oh. Did she lose her SAG insurance? I'm uh, sure. Probably. But she still has, from what I, again, I have not seen her in 20 years. From what I've been told by a good friend of mine who made that documentary, she has all her marbles still. Now, a lot of people are going to be questioning, who's Marsha Hunt? Give a couple of movies she was in. She was at MGM in the 40s. Then she got caught up in the witch hunt. Mm -hmm. Was blacklisted. Did TV for years. So, and I can't, and I, for the moment, I can't give you a name of a film, but she was, can we call it a B-plus star at Metro? Okay. Yeah, but she's 104, and she was part of the witch hunt, I guess, huh? So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So, they're going after me, witch hunt. No, don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> witch hunt. Hell, Mar- Mar- what's your name again? Uh, Marsha Hunt. Marsha Hunt. Witch hunt. Marsha Hunt. 
I said witch hunt. Mitch Martin. Well, forget it. Oh, it's what, who's what's who's on second? Who's on first? And who's on first? What's on second? Oh boy. Well, anyway, so somebody this, died this week who I didn't even know was still alive. It's like ninety eight. I get now who it was. So she'd probably be the oldest right now. I think a formerly working actress. I and believe. It, once Norman be Lloyd went, that he was. He was one hundred and six when he died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and without after insurance. Without SAG insurance. Without SAG after insurance. Anyway. Hey, listen. Well, doing what? He would have lived to be 107? Probably not. Yeah, but uh, he was he was around quite a while. But again, know. another gentleman who had all, I want to say, had all his marbles until he passed away. Exactly. Yeah. And I only have like one marble left and no <laughs> hand. <laughs> Let's see here. Can I? Oh, ow. I couldn't do I could really couldn't do that if I had to. Oh, ow. I, I can't go on Jeopardy. I can't go on Jeopardy. Things I can't do. Oh, that's that's a good YouTube video. Thing that's right. Things I can't do with my broken hand. I can't I can't go on Jeopardy because you know that that it, well, drive a stick hand. well, I could try to do it with this hand, but the point is that if I do it with this hand. I can't do it as fast because I'm not. Right, a, you could probably you could probably go on Wheel of Fortune. Yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to learn to be a right hander. Hey, we we've gone over our allotted time. Uh, thank you, Shecky. I appreciate it. He's always here, and uh, uh, I I love having him here. Uh, uh, also, uh, thanks to uh, Andrew Deutsch. God, it's great to have you here today, yeah. Andrew. Because every time you make a comment, it's hilarious. You know. How about that one time? That yeah. Lena LaFrisco, thank you. Steve Bender, wow. Everything, you got to get up here. It's the law now. You have no excuse. I know, I know. So, uh, send me a few Sundays. Yeah, but you can't Sundays. get up there because of your injury. A any Sunday. <laughs> any, any Sunday. Any, any Sunday? Okay, I'll pick, I'll pick one and text you. Yeah. Is that right, Marjorie? Any Sunday? What? Well, there's a couple we're doing that yeah. we're, we're filled, but send, send, give us a couple. I'll, I'll send you a couple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Scott Boddicker, thank you so much. Uh, and and Charlie Wallace, who lives close to Scott Boddicker, thank you for being here this yeah. afternoon. Mike Chisholm, good seeing you. Uh, what's his name? <laughs> Brian, thank you. Marjorie, thank you. What's her name? Mandy. <laughs> So, Ryan. I didn't realize I should change it back. I didn't know somebody was a copycat. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, all about Mandy, 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 as she goes again. I'm going to have to do this with my right, left hand here. Everybody, Everybody wave, wave goodbye, and I'll say goodbye to you as well. Let me see if I can sign this off here. Uh, there we go. Uh, end meeting for all. <laughs>